Hey guys, so this is part two of my Leather McGarden cosplay tutorial. Um, this one might be a little bit longer than the last one, which is really saying a lot, because that one was about 13-14 minutes. I'm going to try and speed it up. So, for my dress, I made two separate parts. Um, first the skirt, and second the top. Um, for the skirt, I used a tutorial on YouTube that I found for a circle skirt. Um, used the same exact material that I used for my sleeves. And I did the same thing that I did for my sleeves, where I traced out the pattern twice. Twice. <laughs> I traced out the pattern twice, sewed along the bottom. The very, very bottom of my skirt is where I sewed. Um, then I turned it inside out, flattened it, ironed it down. Um, I did not sew the top. Did not sew the top. I didn't sew the sides either. The only part that I sewed was along the bottom edge. Then I went to my top piece. Now, if you look at Levy um, in any of the pictures of her and you look at her dress, it has different sections for her dress to where there's, I believe, there's two pieces here, two on the side, and two in the back. That's exactly what I did. I had an old shirt that I used from my Aladdin tutorial and that same exact shirt that I had um, I used it and sized it to fit me and drew on it the patterns that I wanted now for her dress it is a low cut top um, strapless kind of strapless but the basics of it it's just strapless dress um, Anyways, I cut all of those out two times. Each of the pieces I cut two times. That is always the key because otherwise your clothes are going to look thin and possibly see-through, which is not a good sign. I tell you, that's not fun walking through a convention with the cosplay that is almost see-through. Not that I would have experience from that. It's not fun. <laughs> Um, anyways, basically what I did for the top, it was almost the exact same thing that I did for my sleeves, um, including with the ribbon. Now for the ribbon, or for all the sections, I sewed all of them together for the sides, for the sides and for the top pieces. Again, I did not sew the bottom. Got what I was going to say. I did not sew the bottom of the pieces for the top. I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So this, the inside of this looks very, very messy, and I don't care. See how it's like that? That's where I sewed everything together for the top piece and the bottom. So if you can see, there's all these little different sections all the way around the dress for the top. Sorry if it's a little bit scrunched. So I did all of those, cut them twice, sewed them all together, sewed the top. Um, and like I said, I sewed them together, like actually together, leaving a small opening where I knew that the skirt would fit, where I had not sewn the skirt yet, which happened to be in the back. Because the majority of the time, whenever you see any type of dress, the seam for where the skirt meets up into the top is either in the back or on the side. I think it looks a little more decent, I guess, in the back. I don't know. Um, so I put that piece in the back. Um, this is how it was when it got into the back. Um, actually, I did sew that part. Yeah, so I sewed the entire skirt except for the very top line because what I did for the top whenever I went to go and sew it on I 
um, turns it inside out. Is that how I did it? No, I turned my skirt inside out and put the shirt down inside of it. I'll show you what I mean. So, here is the skirt, how it would be like that when it's inside out. What I did for the top, here's the top right here. I took it and stuffed it down inside and pinned all of the edges together to where the top would be in it. I just sewed that entire thing, leaving a little spot on the side for the zipper. I decided to put the zipper on the side. Again, same thing with the seam line for the skirt. You can either put it in the back or the side. I think that it looked better on the side because I could hide it. Um, and when I went to Walmart, I found the exact color zipper as the material. As you can see, you can barely see it, actually. <laughs> um, I am probably the worst person ever at sewing on zippers. Not gonna lie, I am 100% the worst at sewing zippers. I've tried everything, looked through hundreds of videos trying to figure out what I was doing wrong. Still can't figure it out. Um, it's not really the end of the world or anything, mainly because the majority of my cosplays don't have zippers. Um, I think this one and my Zelda one were the only ones, but for my Zelda one, the zipper was in the back to where my top piece would cover it but for this one I decided to put it on the side so I could kind of hide it a little bit and then whenever I put my ribbon on I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit but when I put my ribbon on I have this little piece here where the zipper would be underneath of my armpit <laughs> um, but the fabric for the ribbon I put it so it's kind of like a cover for the zipper I see that it's a little bit uneven. Like I said, I don't really care too much. Probably only going to wear this one time anyways. Um, and that's how I did it. But I'm going to change it and sew this side and unsew this side here so that way the seam folds towards the front of me. Mainly because it looks very tacky like this where you can still see the zipper when it's on. Okay, on to the ribbon. Like I said, I did the same exact thing that I did for the sleeves. I took two pieces, pulled them, sewed them, um, folded it over top, uh, sewed them along the very, very bottom, all except, like I said again, where I put the zipper. Um, the reason I put this piece here like this is because I ran out of ribbon. Um, yeah. So I did that. What you can do is where your ribbon is, and or where your zipper is for your ribbon, um, instead of having this little flap here, you can extend the front of the ribbon to where it goes over and overlaps the original ribbon a little bit. And then just don't sew that side and leave just a little gap, like I said again, where you can flip it over so you can get to your zipper and hide it. Um, if you don't like that idea, you don't have to do it. I'm just trying to help everybody out here. Um, but yeah. So, then for the top, I messed up. Not really messed up, messed up, but I messed up. Um, ended up buying the same type of ribbon where it was meant for presents instead. And it was a little bit bigger. I'm not sure how thick this is. It's like two inches. This one's about two inches. The last one was probably about an inch. But, um, when you look at her strap that goes around her neck, it's not really scrunched, so I couldn't really use an elastic. And I was trying so hard to figure out how to do it. And then it came to me. When in doubt, Velcro. Um, but I was too cheap and lazy to go out and buy white Velcro. 